All right, I'm going to be taking apart this HP Pavilion. Here, this is a convertible. Particular model is, let's find out here. This is the TX2000. These particular units have a problem with overheating due to the NVIDIA video chip. And this particular issue plagued a number of laptops during the period of time that this video chip was popular. It also plagued the Xbox 360. And so the procedure I'm going to be performing here is I'm going to be taking apart the laptop. And I want to first, I'm going to use a heat gun. And I'm going to heat up the video chip. And I'm going to make sure that it's firmly pressed to the board so that the solder you know reflows and then will resolidify um, intact and um, or, or or make proper contact when it resolidifies re and then I'm going to improve the, the cooling improve the cooling of the laptop its ability to cool off the GPU by replacing the thermal pad that it uses with a copper shim and so copper is a far better heat conductor than the thermal pad that's in there now and so this is the sort of a uh, copper shim that I'm going to be using here and I'm also going to be using uh, thermal paste the arctic silver thermal paste and that would be uh, this guy here the arctic silver 5 so you can see that there and so first things first I'm going to take this thing apart disassembly Yeah, take, getting this out isn't isn't very simple. It's not very easy. You have to be you have to exercise a little bit of patience and kind of wiggle it out. If you move too quickly, you will break. You will crack the motherboard. And that one is going to be difficult to put back on. All right, so here's the area that we're going to be working on here. I'm going to try to uh, get some of this dust out of there. That ought to do it. So let's see here. Now I'm going to remove the CPU cooler here, or the heat sink. Four screws, they are numbered on the heat sink here. And that's the uh, order in which you want to remove them and, uh, and also to put them back on. the power here for the fan. Remove that. We'll take the heat sink up. And we'll see what we got here. So yeah, here is the um so if you look on the motherboard itself here we have I'm gonna try to move the camera maybe a little bit closer here. Alright so here we have the uh, this is the CPU here. This is the AMD Turon processor. It's a dual core processor, 64 bit and uh, so that's the processor. Then here is the video chip there, and that's the root. That's the cause of the problems that we're having here. And that's the chip that likes to overheat. Then what we have here on the cooler is this is the thermal pad here that transfers heat 
from the GPU to the uh, to the cooler. And I'm going to be replacing. I'm going to be removing this thermal pad because it's not very efficient at transferring heat. And replacing that with the uh, copper here, 100% copper, and that will facilitate better um, transfer of the heat. And um, and should result in us being able to have a laptop that is usable and it's not going to fail. I'm just clearing out some more um, the dust from this cooler. All types of junk in here. All types of junk in there. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do first is the I'm going to use the heat. The heat um, heat gun and heat up the GPU there in order to make sure that it has a good. I'm going to do first is so this is the heat gun here that I'm using. This is just a, a standard heat gun, nothing nothing really all that special. And um, so I'm going to be using this to to heat up the GPU. But first, what I'm going to do is create a a heat shield using aluminum foil in order to direct the heat just to the GPU. There are better ways to uh, to do this, but this is a method I use. So as you can see here, I've um, isolated the GPU, and I'm going to use some paper towel here once I've heated up the GPU in order to apply pressure to it. And so now I'm going to turn on the heat gun and. Once Right, that should do it. And now for the next piece here, which is the remove this here. This is the thermal paste that gets to go away because it's junk. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol. rubbing alcohol here that I have on this paper towel. Clean up the top of the GPU here. Rubbing alcohol. I'm also going to clean the copper shim. Both sides with the rubbing alcohol. Next thing I want to do is get my Arctic Silver, which is in my mess here somewhere. Here it is, here it is, here it is. And I'm going to use where's it at? Right, I'm going to use one of my business cards here to um, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to use it to apply the thermal paste. The only thing my business card is good for is cutting up. All right, so I'm going to apply a bit here. You don't need much. It doesn't take much at all. Too much is a bad thing. And so there we are. Applied some thermal paste here and. basically going to spread it here with my business card here. You want to get good coverage but you also want it to be semi-transparent. Good coverage but not too good coverage.
Normally I can take this heat shield off here now, also. And I'm also going, so alright, so that, so I've the Arctic Silver applied there, I'm also going to, now I'm going to put the copper shim down on the GPU, just right there and smack in the middle. Then I'm also going to apply Arctic Silver to the other side of this here, um, to the this part of the heat sink so that the shim and this part of the heat sink have a uh, good thermal transfer as optimal as possible. Figure that to do it there, and now it just everything just needs to be put back together. Yeah, that'll be enough for us to be able to boot it up and uh, see if it was successful or not. So, let's arrange the camera here, get you the best view possible. And... Alright, there we are. There we are. So she boots up. And she's powering up there now, there to Vista. So I'm just going to finish putting the rest of the screws back in there. That's not um, something you'd probably be interested in, but it looks like that did the job and uh, hopefully that should keep this machine from ever overheating and running into the same issue again so hope you enjoyed